hello guys so in this video we are going to connect our flutter application with firebase so go to your favorite browser make sure that you are logged in to your gmail account or to your google account okay and then you can simply search for firebase console you will see this firebase console click on that and you can come to this page directly by simply typing this console.firebase.google.com here you will see this create a project button simply click on this create a project button and here you can type your project name for example i will give it name as let's say n driver clone okay so this is my firebase project name then click on continue and then click continue here make sure to select the default account for firebase create project now once it is created you can click on continue and this is our Firebase project by the name end driver clone it is created if you go to the console you will see here it I mean the new project you will see here as well end driver clone you can click on it and it will open that click on this Android icon first up, we are going to connect our Firebase project for the Android apps here we need to provide our package name which we can get from our project if you go to the project expand the Android app build.cradle if you scroll here you will see this default config inside we have the application ID from here you can copy this uh, application ID if you want to do changes you can do now for example I will remove these underscore from here and I will just leave it like users and driver app okay once you copy this and add that to the Firebase console then please do not make change later okay just copy this ID come back here and paste that here and then click on register app then download the Google services.json file by clicking on it so it has been downloaded if you go to the downloads folder so here it is go to your project and we have to add this inside the app folder so what you can do is you can simply copy this Google services JSON file and right click on app click paste and click OK so inside the app folder we have our Google services.json file as you can see then of course from your downloads you can delete it then the next step is click next and here we need to copy this okay and we have to add this inside the settings.gradle you can see the settings.gradle inside the plugins we can simply paste that right here you can remove these parentheses from here the starting parenthesis space and the ending parenthesis okay just like this or you can even directly copy the same line for example I remove this and click here on this groovy so it will give you without the parenthesis okay so simply copy that and paste it directly here so after this one the next step is uh, we inside our app build.gradle we have to add these two lines this one is already added if you go to the app build.gradle you will see that here at the top this one is already added just we need to add the second one which is for example this one okay copy it and paste it here then you can simply go to the pubspec.yml and in here let's add the dependencies for using firebase for example the first important one is the firebase course firebase core which is required in order to use firebase auth data firebase database or firebase storage or any other firebase service so firebase core then for the authentication we use the firebase auth and for the database we have firebase underscore database for now we will add these three 
Later on, of course, we will use other dependencies as well. Currently, as we are in the sign in and sign up features implementation, so for now, we just need the auth and database. So, anyways, once you add that, click on pubget in order to install these dependencies in our Flutter project. And now go to the band dot dot and if it shows you this line click on get dependencies and exit code 0 which means the dependencies has been added successfully okay and then click on ignore the next thing is we will make this asynchronous as we are going to initialize the firebase and you know that we have to wait for the response first we will make sure that widget widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and then we can say wait firebase dot initialize app now after this go to the android app build dot gradle and inside the app build dot gradle one thing which you have to make sure is the minimum SDK version so it must be 23 or greater than 23 so for example I will change it to 23 but for good practices make sure it is 24 that is either 24 or greater than 24 now the next step is go to your browser click next click continue to console and click on this gear icon project settings now we need the uh, firebase option details which for the android it is required inside the init firebase dot initialize app we have to pass the firebase options to it which contains basically our api key app id and all these information so as you know that later in this course we will also develop the web admin panel so for that purpose the easiest way to get the firebase options or you can say your firebase project details we need uh, the web app from there we can get the firebase option details easily now how for example you click on this add app click on this web icon and as you know we will also uh, implement i mean create the admin web panel so for that purpose we will create this web app for i mean from now so we will give it name as admin web panel click on register app now the information about which I am talking about it is basically these information which you can see okay so before we proceed let's come here quickly and we can say if the platform if the platform is Android then in that case we can say wait firebase dot initialize app and in case of android we will pass options to it now these are basically the firebase options which is basically this information okay so just copy this from here come back here and we can say const firebase options and paste the information here that's it so this is for the Android in case of iOS it will be this one so you can get, get this information easily by creating a web firebase project inside the firebase okay so anyways now we are ready to test our application on our phone So the app runs successfully which means our project is connected successfully to firebase for the android the next thing is we have to connect our flutter app with firebase for the ios so for the ios you can open up this ios and in here if you double click on this port file 
it will show you this file okay and here you will see this suggestion which is open iOS macOS module in Xcode simply click on that so it basically open up our iOS module inside the Xcode okay when you click on this open iOS module in Xcode it open this iOS module of our Flutter app inside the Xcode as you can see now what we need to do is click on this runner and then inside this runner when you click on that general here you will see this bundle identifier you need to simply uh, copy this bundle identifier which you can copy simply directly by clicking here on this sign in and capabilities when you click here you will see here the editable uh, bundle identifier okay so you can simply copy this from here and go back to your browser to your firebase console and in here inside our in drive firebase clone project click on this add app so now as you know we are doing it for the iOS so click on iOS and here you can provide your app bundle ID which we just copied and then click on register app is we have to download this Google services info.plist so click on it in order to download it as you can see it has been downloaded now the info plist file which we just downloaded which is inside the downloads now what I need to do is I will simply go to the iOS folder in I mean of my flutter project so in your case you can do like this right click on iOS click on open in and click on finder so it will open that folder okay our project inside it we have iOS and inside this iOS we can simply move our Google services info.plist file okay from the downloads we move that file here inside the iOS folder now the next step is open the Xcode okay and our this info.plist file we have to move drag and drop below this runner okay so just pick this that is move drag and drop it here below this runner like this and leave it here and it will show you this window click on finish just like that as you can see we move it inside the runner now the next thing is uh, we have to click next in the firebase console then click next click on swift and we have to import firebase core in our xcode for our ios part so import uh, copy this code which is import firebase core go to the xcode inside xcode we have app delegate double click on it that is open it and simply paste that here thing is we have to copy this firebase app dot configure copy it and then inside the Xcode inside the app delegate in here we can paste it then the next step is we have to click next continue to console and that's it go to Xcode click on file and save then you can close the Xcode and then go to the Android Studio. Now let's open up the iOS simulator. So our iPhone is turned on successfully. One last important step which is left is go to the port file inside the iOS module. Go to port file and here you will find this platform iOS make sure to remove the comment from it and which iOS we want to target so we want the iOS version 14 and greater than that that is 14 15 16 and whatever come out in the future okay so go for platform iOS 14 once you do that now let's install the app on our phone on our iPhone now guys keep in mind that 
when you run the application on the iPhone for the first time it will take some time so you have to be patient and please wait for it it can take from 5 to 10 minutes so as you can see the app is running successfully which means that we have connected our app with Flutter iOS app